Hi, lovely people. It's Ann here. How are you? So today we are going to do a Q&A. So this is my very first video on this channel. If you don't know, my main channel is called Just Dan, and I basically do subscription box unboxings, mystery boxes, hauls, stuff like that. On this channel, it is called Just Dan's World because it's going to be more about my world. It's not going to be about subscription boxes, unboxings it's going to be more personal on a personal level but i will get more into that because on my community post on my main channel i had asked you guys to ask me some questions whatever you want nothing was off limits and so you guys did you didn't disappoint so some of those questions kind of gear to why as well I made this channel so I will get more into detail with these questions so if this is something that you're interested in and want to get to know a little bit about me then keep on watching all right let me get to these questions all right there's one question on here I want to answer first because then it will start like why I started this channel and stuff okay so I'm not going to say the names because I don't know if you guys want me to say who you are that ask these questions. All right. But the first question is, oh, and by the way, I put on my community post, I was going to do like a get ready with me, but I already filmed like three videos and I knew if I did a get ready with me answering these questions, we would be here for two hours because I can't do two things at once. So I figured since I was already ready, let me just ask the questions. I mean, answer the questions. Okay. So the first question is, she says, kind of a bitchy question, but it's something I'd like to know. And since nothing is off limits, why did you start a second channel when your first one isn't at its best and you don't have that many subscribers? And that is really a great question. So on my main channel, I have about 46,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 50. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, I will leave that down below. But no, I'm not. I don't have a whole lot of subscribers to where like some people have like in the millions. To me, it's a lot like I accomplished. I didn't even think I would get 100 subscribers. Um, but that channel, a lot of times, you know, you guys would ask me, can you do a get ready with me? Can you do a tutorial? Can you review, you know, like let's say an eyeshadow palette? And I would do that and my views would be very, very low. And so when I would try to change up, it's like the algorithm, two things was happening. One, either you guys weren't interested in it, you're just going to that channel to see the unboxings, or B, sometimes it depends on what YouTube sees that you are watching. So if you're watching my channel for subscription boxes, they may not notify you if I do something else. They may not think that you're interested in. So I just want to keep that channel for like more subscription body bodies. No, subscription boxes. And this channel, I want to do it a little bit different and get more personal. So what I plan to do on this channel is Q and A's. Get readies with me. I will review makeup, but I want to do like vlogging, take you shopping with me. I want to like cook. You'll be in my kitchen with me. You'll see more of my family, my home life, more personal. So this channel is going to be for more people that want to get to know me and care more about that, like the vlogging and family oriented. You know what I mean? Orientate it, however you say it. And then just keep the subscription boxes over there. Does that make sense? So that's why I wanted to do this second channel. Okay, I'm just gonna go up to the very first question. So this was asked a lot. So they, so one person says, so what happened with you and your ex-husband? Also, update on your daughter, how is your daughter doing? Also, how are you really doing? Holding up with everything that happened to you this year. Also, what's your 2021 goals? If you need more questions, I got some. I honestly want to know. I'm a longtime subscriber, and I always look forward to your videos with your naughty jokes. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, okay, so let me start with the first question. It says, so what happened with you and your ex-husband? Well, he's still my husband. He's not my ex. We are separated. You know, 
what I learned with this COVID, uh, it either made your relationship or it broke your relationship. So my husband works in education for the school. And, you know, with COVID, living in New Jersey, New Jersey, New York were the first two states to get hit very hard, very fast, right? And so the schools were laid off, of course, and my husband was home all the time. And so were my kids. And my youngest is a boy. He's 16. Me and my husband have no biological kids together. We got together. We got married when I was 36 and he was 38. We were only together for 10 months before we got married. Now, I knew my husband since high school. I know my husband my whole life, but we were never dated or anything like that, you know. Um, so I have three biological kids and he has two. So I always say I have five kids because I look at his kids as my kids, you know. Um, but blended relationships sometimes are, are very hard, you know, and when you're set in your ways the way you parent, when you meet somebody close to 40, and it, it, it's kind of like, you know, you're set in your ways with your parenting or it's kind of hard for somebody to try to parent your kid or try to tell you how to parent, you know, and there was always an issue there. And a lot of it was mine, too, because I didn't know how to kind of like, you know, I, to be, I was always head of the household and it was hard for me to kind of like, you know, you know, so I'm not saying it was all him, but it, it's very hard. And with COVID, with my son home all the time and he was home all the time, I mean, those seven months was like, it was hard. And then I'm in the middle. Um, and so my mom, my mom passed away last Thanksgiving and she left me this house and I I could not move in because she died in this house. So I knew there was a house here. Nobody was living in here for a year. But because of that, I just had to decide, you know, happiness comes first. And sometimes you need to separate to make things work. And then sometimes when you separate, you realize that's not what you want to be. You're happier by yourself. I've always said you could do bad all by yourself. So for that, I, ha I just thought it was best to move out with my son, you know, my kids, and, um, you know, that's basically in a nutshell. And there's other things, but that was the main thing. You know, sometimes you got to take a break, you know, otherwise it's just arguing, and I didn't want to end up hating him or him end up hating me, do you know? So that's basically what that is for, you know? Like I always said, my kids will always come first before any man, you know? Okay, so let's see what the other question is. See, this is why I couldn't get, do a get ready with me because, see, I like to talk. Okay, an update how my daughter is. So very quickly as well, last October, my daughter had open heart and lung surgery. She had, um, uh, what do you call that, a PE? Uh, I can't think of the word now. Where she had a big blood clot something embolism, pulmonary embolism in her main artery in her lung. And then she had two blood clots in her heart and they were moving on top of the one which was causing her, she was in heart failure. So they had to do open heart surgery and get 10 centimeters of blood clots out. And then after that, two weeks later, she got a blood infection, which that almost killed her, stopped her heart. So that was a big old mess there. And then my daughter has been sick since then. She gets sick very easily. And so this last round, she was very, very sick and was coughing up a little blood. And that's what scared me from before. And then with this COVID. So anyway, we go to the hospital. Um, they did diagnose her with bronchi bronchitis slash pneumonia. But they did a COVID test and it came back two days later. She did not have COVID, thank God. So... She's getting a lot better. She's still coughing a little bit and her chest is hurting a little bit, but she, you know, she's out and about now and she goes back to work in a few days. So she is doing a lot better. So thank you so much for asking. All right. And then the last question you wanted to know is what are your goals for 2021? And this is going to sound like so cliche, but just to be happy. I just want to be happy. And, um, you know, 2019 was the toughest year of my life. I lost my mother and I lost my grandmother in one year, right? Then my daughter almost died on me. 2020 was horrible with this COVID, with my marriage, with different things, you know, personal, my health. So it's like 2021, I just want to be health healthy and happy. 
you know? And I want this YouTube channel to grow and my other one to grow because let's be real, my husband was the breadwinner. So without his income, like it's hurting. It's hurting me a lot. And that's another reason why I started this channel up too, right? To get it monetized because a girl can, can use all the money I can get right about now. And I'm just being real, you know? Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay, here's another question. It says, you said you got into makeup in your 40s. How did you learn to do your eyeshadow so well? Oh, thank you so much. And did you watch others on YouTube? Well, so when I started my channel, my main channel, I started the end of February. I believe it was like February 22nd of 2017. And I was 40. My birthday is April 6th. So I would have been 41 in just a couple months. And I never wore eyeshadow. Like, you know, I just did. And I was very depressed. That's another reason why I started my channel. But I'll go into more of that in one of the other questions. But you, you guys, you should have seen how I did my makeup. Go back to my older <laughs> videos, seriously, on the other channel. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. And it was just practice as I learned. And I did. I watched a lot of videos. I watched Jaclyn Hill, Nikki Tutorials. Well, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this hand clapping. But like, um, I, di I, I did. And it was just practice made perfect, you know? Like, I used to like go very deep. I didn't blend. It was it was bad, you know. So that's basically it. And when I also learned, it was like very neutrals. I would never mess with color. Are you kidding me? No. It was all like cinnamon colors were like colors to me. So I, and then I started using color by using uh, like colored eyeliner in my waterline. So I would still do a neutral look, but then I would start with blue or green or purples. And then from there, when I got used to a little color, I started doing a little more color. And then I just practiced more with different eyeshadows. And because when I first started, I thought Morphe was high end. Oh, yeah. It was the Morphe 350 everybody talked about. Who remembers that? Leave down below if you had that palette. And um, yeah, I thought that was high end. I never been into a Sephora or an Ulta in my life till I started YouTube. So that's basically how. But I don't think I'm that great with makeup. But thank you so much for that compliment. Okay, another question. I got a lot of these as well. What kind of profession are you in if that's if that's not too nosy? Girl, I am like an open book. There's nothing too nosy for me. There's a few things I don't like to talk about, like politics and religion and money, you know, but I'm basically an open book. There's nothing too nosy for me because I always ask you guys questions because I'm nosy. All right, so I'm not in no profession. My husband was the breadwinner. He worked and, you know, I was I was very lucky. I got to stay home and I keep looking at myself. I look at there. And um you know, I was just with my kids. My kids played sports. My youngest son is really heavy in the baseball. Um, and so, I, like I said, I was very lucky. So, and then I started YouTube. And then, like, maybe a year into YouTube, I was started making money off of YouTube. I don't make a whole lot. Like, let's just be real. I, I, I can't live off of this, you know. So, either I need something to give or I need to find a job after COVID, you know. But, yeah, so that's the profession. It's just YouTube right now. And, and like, a mother, you know. So a lot of it, how's your daughter doing? How, a lot of questions about the separation. Um, so I answered that. Um, what do you do for fun besides makeup? How are you coping with the separation? Uh, okay. So really besides makeup, I'm going to be very, very honest. I have really been going through it, especially with depression because the year anniversary of my mom's death and she died on Thanksgiving. And that was, that's a whole nother story in another video. Maybe when I'm doing my makeup, I'll get more into that and ha what happened. And I mean, her body was here for four hours before they came and picked her up. It is a lot. And, um, sh last year, so she died on November 28th last year because that's when Thanksgiving is. Thanksgiving this year is November 26th. So it's like I'm celebrating her death twice on Thanksgiving because that's when she died. I remember cooking Thanksgiving dinner in the morning and I had to turn everything off. And then really the day that she died, the year would be the 28th. So I've been going through that, feeling sorry for myself. And with, you know, getting separated, it doesn't matter. It, it, that's hard. Your ego, you know, a lot of things. So to be very honest, um, and that's why I don't, you haven't seen a whole lot of videos on my main channel. So what I'll do is I'll sit down and film like three or four videos at a time. That way I can have some go up because, you know, I only want to film when I'm in a good mood. 
I don't want to film when I'm depressed because it shows. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be fake either and act like I'm all happy when I'm not. So, you know, basically, I don't know how I'm doing, to be honest, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Okay, would you ever do a home tour? I got this a lot too. I don't know. To be honest, I just moved in here like a year ago. Um, nobody was living here in a year. So when I moved in, this was a whole empty house. There's no furniture, no nothing. Like I had to get a refrigerator, everything. If you don't know, in 2018, my mom and grandmother, when they both lived together and then there was a fire. And they were out of the house for almost a year and a half. Uh, my grandmother never got to see the house. She died in February. Then my mom died on Thanksgiving. My mother moved back into this house the end of October. So she was only here less than a month before she passed. So there wasn't like a whole lot of stuff. Um, she did, of course, had a recliner because she had to... That's she was bedridden and she had to stay downstairs on a recliner to sit up. But... um. You know, so I'm basically getting things as I go. Like every check, I'm getting something else, to be honest. And also because I have children, I don't know if I would completely do a house tour. But on this channel, I do plan on doing family things. Stuff in my kitchen. Having my daughter on. Do you know what I mean? So you'll see more of the house. But as far as an official house tour, I don't know. Because like I said, I do have children. And that's a little private. You know what I mean? Okay. Another th question a lot, how is your children handling the separation? Um, I don't know. They really haven't talked about it. You know, like my husband still, you know, sees the kids and asks about them, you know. And they're even though they're not biologically used kids, he's been in their life for eight years. Um, so, you know, they're his kids. Like his kids are my kids, you know. But they really haven't said anything. So I don't know. And I haven't really asked them. You know, another question. How did you start your friendship with L Negs? <laughs> so if you don't know, I will leave his channel down below. L Negs is a fellow Jerseyan and I believe he was subscribed to my channel first. And I was doing live streams like every Thursday. This is going back over a year ago. And he would always say Jersey in the house. And then, you know, that caught me right there when you said Jersey. You're from Jersey? What? Another Jerseyan? So and then we start talking. I went to his channel and I really like him and he's a lot like me. You know, he likes to talk <laughs> like I like to talk. He likes to joke. He thinks he's funny. I think I'm funny. Not everybody thinks I'm funny, but as long as I think I'm funny and um, I just really like him. So that's how that relationship kind of started, you know. Here's another one. It says, one thing that really impressed me about you when you contacted me after I messaged you during my hospitalization for a massive PE, that's what my daughter had in her lung, um, was your, your strong faith. How does that factor into your everyday life, especially when times are tough? Love you, Anne. Love you too. Very much. I love all of you guys. Um... So I'm not a religious person per se, but I'm very spiritual. Do you know what I mean? Religion is more man-made, like if you're Christian, Catholic, Baptist, like, you, you know, all that. I think that's man-made. So I'm not a religious person, but I'm very, very spiritual. I, I believe in God. Um, I have a lot of faith. Um, and so I try to use that. So when I'm going through things, you know, I... I try to go, I try to do that and think, okay, God's not going to give you nothing you can't handle. And I really put my trust in God because sometimes I think that, you know, when ever, a lot of things happen to you and you're like, oh my God. And you know that saying when it rains, it pours. And you ever think like, my God, can anything ever go right? Sometimes I think that God does things and brings you down. So to see how faithful you are right? Because sometimes when a lot of things go on, you lose your faith. And I do. I believe he tests our faith. You know, do you believe in him? Do you not? Because I believe, and this is my opinion, if you believe in God, that you should never worry. You should be concerned, but never worry because God always has your back. Now, do I practice what I preach all the time? Absolutely. I'm human. I'm flesh, right? I'm a sinner like everybody else. But I try to put that in my everyday life. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I like, like, for instance, my grandmother dying in February. He knew my mom was going to die in Thanksgiving. He knew I couldn't have handled if my daughter passed away. Do you know what I mean? So I, 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 that's just what I try to do. Like I said, I don't, you know, sometimes people have to bring it to my attention again, but I don't know. 
it's something that's always been instilled in me since I was young. And I try to instill that with my children, you know. I just have a lot of faith, you know. Okay, we're at 20 minutes, so holy cow. I'll answer a few more because I don't want this being too long um, for my first video. Let's see. Here's another one. It says, you have had many losses in the last year and a half. I hope you have someone who you can vent, confide, and cry with. It's hard to keep feeling sad and alone. I don't want you to feel this way. If there's anything we all can do to help, we would. I feel like you're my little sister and I care. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I do. I have, you guys know my, my good Judy, Lisa Smith. And I have like Abdabs. She's another YouTuber. She lives in New Jersey. So we get together and stuff, you know, not as much as we would like because of COVID right now, but we, you know, we do, we do like to get together. We talk on the phone. She's like 25 minutes away. That's it. Um, so she's actually going to be coming with me and help me furniture shop. So for the living room. So yeah, I do have a few people to talk to. I don't talk to a whole lot of people because I don't trust people, you know, and that's a whole nother story too. You know what I mean? I can tell you about one day. I'll do like a story time, you know? Um, but thank you so much. And how to help, there's really nothing to help. You know, just watch my videos, watching my ads. This channel isn't monetized yet. I have to get to 4,000 hours. So if you can watch like my whole video, that would help me to get monetized. And my other channel, watch the ads. That helps me, you know. And just you being there really helps me. And that's the God's honest truth. Okay, let's see. Let's do like two more questions. A lot of them are like basically the same questions. Like, what do you do for a living? Like with my husband, um, my, how, my, how Lexi's doing. Um, so I'm just, I don't want to like keep repeating the same questions. Um, here's a good question. How do you feel about the competition between YouTubers? Uh, what makes you want to do YouTube? And what is your favorite and least favorite thing about you? What is your favorite makeup brand? Okay, so how I feel about the competition between YouTubers. There is a whole hell of a lot of competition. Like, let me just tell you, when I started my channel, it was because I was extremely depressed. I never owned a computer till I met my husband. I was a cable TV person. I don't, I mean, I had a phone and I would Google things, but I never knew about YouTube. I didn't know anything. So remember when they would have those chat rooms back in the day, like MySpace? I never was on them. So I was so new to this stuff. I didn't know people were trolls and people would leave mean comments. I thought people would like tell you the truth because I'm a very loyal person. I never knew people would use you and try to like get cloud and like I never knew this stuff. I never knew people as I always say I, I, I always like talk about women and women empowerment and also support. And I also support even like companies that are from New Jersey, right? I'm all about support. And so, you know, I became friends with a couple of YouTubers and it was so much competition. And one in particular was so two-faced and lied on me and lied on my child. And I, she hated me from the beginning and used me to give her shout outs and stuff. And, and, and I'll do a story time on that too. I'll never say her name. I won't give her that much credit, but um, yeah, I learned. And then there are some YouTubers like Abadabs. I also talk to Hot Mess Mama MD, which I love. Yari G, that's not how you say her name. I say Yari, but it's Jotty. Um, uh, there's Brett Guy, Glam Brett Guy. I forget his YouTube name. Now, I don't really talk to him, but I did a collab with him on Instagram, a, a few of us. But there are a few people that are really good YouTubers, and then there's just some that... I don't understand. I'll never understand it. It's like there's enough people to watch your videos for everybody. I just don't get it. It's like one YouTuber doesn't want to give another YouTuber credit or anything because they don't want their following to go over to them because they don't, you know, it's like so stupid. And that's why, like, if you don't know on my community page, on my main channel, I always like to give shout outs to smaller creators because it's nowadays it is so many people on here is hard to get noticed. It really, really is. And so, I don't know. I don't, so how I handle it, I just don't deal with people. I don't talk to a lot of people. I don't bring anybody now into my life. And that's pretty sad, but I lost a lot of trust now. You know, I really did. Um, so, and if I do speak to people about YouTube, like YouTubers, I don't talk about YouTube. 
if that makes sense, you know? But the only ones that I talk to on an everyday basis is Abadabs and, um, there's no competition there at all. We always build each other up. There's L Negs. There's like, you know, just a few people. All right, let me go to one more question. Oh, uh, what was the other question? I forgot. Let me see what the other question was. What makes you want to do YouTuber? That was by the same person. And um, I don't know. I enjoy the interaction I have with you guys. And because like I do suffer, for, suffer from mental illness and depression and different things. And like I said, we'll get more personal as time goes on on this channel. And um, so it feels good to have that connection with you guys, you know, and that support. Um, and that's why I honestly enjoy doing it. I really, really do. It's that connection that I have with you guys. And I can't tell you how much I generally appreciate you guys, honestly. All right, one more question because we're almost at 30 minutes. Uh, do you have any pets? Yes. So I have one cat, Precious. She is 17 years old. She's going downhill. I can tell she's getting very fragile. I have a pit bull who was four years old. Her name is Nala. And then my son has a dog. He's a, she's a American bulldog mixed with something. And, um, her name is Bella and she's about eight or nine years old. So two dogs and one cat. All right. So, oh, one more thing. So I have to tell you, this is from Abadabs. So when we talk on the phone, I say this word right here, but I always say couch. Like I put an N in it. And so she laughs all the time. But I always thought that's how you said it. Cause that's how my family said it. Couch. Like get on the couch. It's couch. I can't even say it properly. So she wanted me to, um, to say that she's got jokes. All right, Abby. Um, and then she just says, what is the first thing you want to do with me when the pandemic is over? Hint, hint, TJ Maxx. Amen, I'm down. First, I want to go out to eat. Then I want to go to TJ Maxx. And you're paying this time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, guys. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed. I know this was a long video. Um, I hope you did enjoy this Q&A. And like I said, I will start uploading on here more. And it will be more personal. So leave me down in the comments some videos that you guys would like to see. Let me know. I am open up to suggestions. All right, so that's everything, guys. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.